there everyone today I'm going to show you how I make my oatmeal breakfast bars now these ones are fantastic if you want some a healthy snack on the go or for kids when they come home from school so let's have a look at the ingredients you're going to need two cups of quick oats a quarter cup of hemp seeds a quarter cup of flax seeds Two cups of milk of your choice. I use almond milk, but you can use regular cow's milk or coconut milk or whatever you like. Then you're going to need two eggs, a half a cup of butter, two cups of wholemeal flour, a teaspoon of salt. and four teaspoons of baking powder. I did also forget to put out my maple syrup, but you're going to need half a cup of that. Start by adding all of your oats, as well as your hemp seed and your flax seed to a bowl. Then stir through your milk and let it sit. It's time to melt our butter. You can do this in a microwave, on the stovetop, or do like I do and do it in a thermal cooker. So for this we are going to choose 60 degrees, we are going to set the timer to 5 minutes, and we're going to put it on a relatively low speed probably somewhere around sort of the spoon or one. While the butter is melting, you can crack your eggs into a separate bowl and have it at a ready. When the butter is all nice and melted, you can start adding your eggs through the lid. Bring the blades up to about speed 4 to 5 for about 15 to 20 seconds until the butter and the eggs are well combined. Measure up your flour and then add your baking powder and your salt. You can also measure out your half a cup of maple syrup or you can use honey or regular sugar if you'd like. If you decide to go with sugar 
or a sweetener of some sort. I'll suggest to add some sort of flavour like cinnamon or vanilla to this. You can now add your oatmeal mix to your Thermomix bowl or food processor or you can just do all of this with electric beaters if you want. And then add in your maple syrup and finally your flour mix. Mix for 20 seconds on speed 5 or if you're using hand beaters just mix until well combined. Scrape down the side of the bowl and if you need to you can repeat the previous step for only about 10 seconds. For this recipe I'm going to be using my mini loaf tin, but you can use um, any kind of muffin tray as well. Grease the holes well with some of the leftover butter. You may find that you have a lot of butter and if you need to you can use an extra tray as well. So I also used another muffin tray and filled it up to 10 holes rather than the 12 and I ended up with 22 pieces all up. Now time to put this into a preheated oven at 120 degrees Celsius or 425 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 to 25 minutes. When finished, leave to cool in the tin and then it's time to enjoy. Or you can store it in an airtime container for about 5 to 6 days. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I will see you again next time.